Welcome to One Name Kids Online. We are so excited to have you back for our part two of our Blast Off series. Today, we're gonna be continuing to learn all about how we blast off our faith with Jesus. But since last week we had so much fun with him, I decided to invite my astronaut friend. What's up, everybody? I'm glad you're back. I'm uh, happy to be back. I, I could only imagine that it's pretty lonely up there in outer space. Yeah, it's pretty lonely being the only astronaut up there. But you know what I loved last week was worshiping. I had uh, such a blast. Can so we do that's it again? why you came back to hang out with us? Of course. All right, well, we're glad you're back. We love friends here at One Name Kids. But before we worship, remember, did you happen to get your gift in the mail yet? Uh, it's coming soon. Uh, Nine I know. billion year day Nine shipping. Nine billion years. It takes a long time to get to space. But if it's your first time here with us at One Name Kids, we would love to send a gift right to your house. So if you grab a grown up, text the number below, we will send you a special gift in the mail. He's still waiting on his, we mailed it, but I guess it takes a long time to get to space. But anyways, back to what you were saying. So you loved worship last week? I loved it, it was great. It helped me really dig deeper and getting into our point last week was where we can be close with God. Yes, so let's do it. Let's worship again this week. So you wanna count it down with me this Sounds week? Sounds good, let's do it. Let's do it. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got, got my belt of truth check. Breast plate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of hate. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Helmet of salvation. Everybody! 
I was jamming to that song. I just really loved it. I know. I love it too. It helps me remember to recite my scripture throughout the week. And our scripture for this whole series is Psalms 119 verse 105. And it says this, that your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. And that helps us remember all the things that we're learning this month, which brings us to our main point for this week. So our main point for this week is people, people can, can help, help us. Out. You know it? Yeah, of course. Oh, I didn't think you know it. All right, then say it with me. People, People can, can help, help our faith, faith grow. grow. That's so cool. It's just like you said earlier, you were so lonely in space that you had to come here to hang out with us. Round two. People can help us learn and grow more about God. And today, our Bible story is all about that. It's about a man who wanted so badly to spend time with God, but he was paralyzed, which meant that he couldn't walk. So his friends stepped in to help him get to Jesus so that he can talk to him. So let's check out this Bible story together. Hey everyone. We've been talking a lot about outer space today. Would you ever want to visit outer space? If you were an astronaut, there would be so much to see and explore. But do you know what you wouldn't be able to find in space? Take a guess. <laughs> People! Today, I want to tell you a Bible story about a man who really needed help from other people. Are you ready to blast off into today's story? Count down with me. Three, two, one. Blast off! This story is about a group of friends. One day, Jesus was hanging out at someone's house. When the town heard he was there, they all came running to see him. Everyone wanted to be close to Jesus. Before long, there were so many people that the house couldn't hold one more person. There were even people standing outside. The man I was telling you about lived nearby but he couldn't come to see Jesus because he was paralyzed, meaning he wasn't able to walk on his own. He didn't even have a wheelchair or people to help him get around. But his friends heard that Jesus had the power to make sick people better, so they took him to see Jesus. But remember, the house where Jesus was was packed Oh, what were they going to do? First, they carried him to the house. Then, they climbed up onto the roof. Then, they cut a hole in the roof, right above where Jesus was standing. Then, they lowered their friend through the roof. And then, Jesus healed him. Isn't that amazing? This man never would have had the chance to meet Jesus if his friends hadn't helped him. And just like this man's friends helped him get close to Jesus, we can help each other too. Because people can help our faith grow. 
Wow, that story really taught me how something really important about how we can really launch our faith in God to new heights. I know that was so cool. Those friends wanted to help him so badly that they literally cut a hole in the roof and dropped him in so that he could talk to Jesus. Man, I really want those kind of friends in my life. Yeah. But I also know that that means I really have to be that kind of friend to someone else as well. Yeah, that's also true. Uh, there's also other ways you can be a good friend too. You can pray for them. You can encourage them when they need you. You can tell them about Jesus and you can also invite them to church. Those are all awesome ways that we can be good friends. So boys and girls throughout this week, what I want you to do is think about one way and one friend that you can take to pick and practice a way that you could be a really good friend to them. So I might just take you after this to buy one of those Starbucks Frappuccinos you really like. I'll take you up I on that. I think that would make me a really good friend. That would indeed make you a very good friend. Yeah, see, that's mine. Now think about yours for this week. But that brings us to the end of our time hanging out today. But before we go, we would just love to pray for you before we leave. Dear Jesus, Thank you so much for that example of the story and for teaching us that people can help grow our faith, God. We thank you for our friends and our families and our moms and our dads and our siblings who all help grow our faith, God. We thank you for another amazing time here at One Name Kids. We love you and we thank you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Awesome. So are you going back to space? Uh, yeah, but you know what? I might come back and visit again next week. Okay, I heard there was two more weeks of the Blast Off series. So what? you think you could stick around for two more weeks? I won't be blasting off anytime soon. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, and we will see you back for week three Woo! next week.